Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 TriStar Hidden Treasures Game Day Grades Autograph Football Jersey Series 3. We're doing all five boxes. One spot gets you two teams. And I don't know if it says here, but in case there are college uniforms, this is in our frequently asked questions section, but in case they're in their college uniforms, it'll go to, if they're active, it'll go to the team they're currently on. If they're retired, like Hall of Famers, right? But it's their college gear. It'll go to the team they played on the longest using football, profootballreference.com. Big thanks to this group right here for getting into the action. Let's double you up and let's randomize you a team. Six into two, eight times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. And eighth and final time after eight, we got Nick down to Brian. Eight times for the teams. One, two. Six, seven, and eighth and final time. Ravens down to Panthers. All right, Nick with the Ravens, Joshua with the Cowboys, Eric with the Jets, Joseph with the Browns, Joshua with the Falcons, Janet with the Bengals, Chad with the Chiefs, Joseph with the Texans, Arthur with the Steelers and Lions, Janet with the Pats, Karen, just missing her Patriots, Karen gets the Packers, Brian with the Eagles, Karen with the Washington football team, Brett with the Jaguars, Joseph, Joseph B with the Saints, Jarrell with the Rams, Chad with the Chargers, Nick with the Broncos, Seahawks, Joseph B with the Bills, Eric with the Colts, Brett with the Giants, Joshua with the Niners, Nick with the... Vikings, Jarrell with the Dolphins, Joshua with the Cardinals, Nick Stover with the Bears and Buccaneers, and Brian with the last three, my Raiders, the Tennessee Titans, and the Carolina Panthers. We'll sort by column B. We'll give it a few moments. We'll just keep the video running. Any trades? Unless I guess, unless Chad and Josh want to trade? Unless these are the only two people who answered my roll call earlier. So there you go, those are the potential trade candidates right there. And there's the case right here. It's a fresh case, I'm gonna leave on the back table, I'm just gonna pull jerseys from out of there. Okay. You have no idea what the list is, Chad. You have got, you've got the Chiefs and Chargers. Is that too small? Sometimes you need to make sure that uh, that if you hit the gear button on your YouTube, you can increase the uh, the picture quality to 720p. Sometimes YouTube automatically knocks you down to some some BS resolution. Oh, the player list. The player list. Yeah, no one knows. <laughs> Yeah, for, for typically for, for breaks like this, there's no, uh, let's just go. There's, there's no checklist. It's a little, little bit of a mystery. But I guess knowing TriStar, you can, you'll kind of get an idea of who's on their roster. All right, let's just roll. Trade window closed, TWC. Good luck. I guess here's an example of what you can get. Brady, McCombs, I mean, those are 
I, I, I doubt there's too many of those in the set. Uh, Saquon Barkley, Burrow, so on and so forth. Tungo Bailoa, Christian McCaffrey. Some of these guys right here. Some old school guys. So we'll see. Now what I, what I appreciate about TriStar and their jerseys, they usually add like a little uh, game show card in here. Have they done it in this one? They have. I feel like the top camera is a little too, a little too bright, a little too washed out at the moment. Let's roll off the brightness a little bit. There we go. Who am I? In 1984, I was drafted third overall by the New York Football Giants. I'm a two-time uh, Super Bowl champion, a 1987 Pro Bowl selectee, an NFL 1980s All-Decade team, and the New York Giants Ring of Honor. So this is obviously going to go to Brett S. with that one. Who am I? Not Zach Moss. Not Lawrence Taylor. Way too early for Eli. Tyler. Not Phil Sims. Holmes, did you look this up? <laughs> yeah, it's Carl Banks. And I feel like Holmes looked this up. There's his autograph. Now, these are custom jerseys, so they won't. I'm going to leave them in here. They don't have like the. There's the JSA right there. There's Banks on the back. So they don't have like NFL logos on here. There it is. Carl Banks, number 58, linebacker maybe? Is that a linebacker number? Yeah, he was a linebacker from Flint, Michigan. Third overall. Giants most of his career. Then I think he played with the Redskins for a season. Oh, you're a Giants fan. Okay, okay. All right, All right fair enough. Sorry for my, uh, my, my accusation is retracted. All right, next one. I don't want to give away the, the color there. All right. Oh, this is, this is going to be, I got to make this a little bit harder. This is too easy. All right. Um... How do I make this harder? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wide receiver for an American football team. That's going to give it away. I'm a second team all pro, a pro bowler, part of the PFW all rookie team. I have 88 receptions in my career for 1,400 receiving yards and seven receiving touchdowns. That's an average of 15.9 yards per catch. I had a pretty great season. Not Randy Moss. Close, though. This car. Did everyone see the purple on the jersey? I didn't hide that too well. Everyone's guessing Vikings. You're right, guys. You're on, you're on the right track. It is a Viking. But younger. How many receptions? I, I said he had 88 receptions. Randy Moss and Chris Carter have way more than 88 receptions. There you go, Holmes. Justin Jefferson. I was like, what are you guys talking about? 80, 88 receptions in his career? There's Jefferson right there. And there's his autograph and the Beckett sticker, or the Beckett card. The sticker is down there. Very nice. So congrats to Nick Stober. 
who got randomized the Minnesota Vikings. He'll get that one. And you know what? You guys are you guys too eagle eye. That's turning off. I'm turning that one off. Eyes are too sharp. So I have, it looks like I have a bunch of, of foxes in this chat here. Jackals. Eagles. Eagle-eyed eagle -eyed viewers here watching. I, maybe I shouldn't have told everyone to watch in 720p. All right, this, is, this is a pretty nice one. All right, who am I? Look at all the stats here. Four-time Pro Bowl selectee, five-time All-Pro selection, an NFL Rookie of the Year, 1960s All-Decade Team, 75th Anniversary All-Time Team, 100th Anniversary All-Time Team, uh, record most TDs in one season by a rookie with 22. That's a lot. My number retired by my team, a two-time consensus All-American, College Football Hall of Famer in 1977, and a Pro Football Hall of Famer in 1977. Who am I? Joe Montana would not be part of the 1960 NFL All-Decade team, Joshua. Not Joe Namath. I'm a running back. Who am I? There you go, Chris. Chris Gill's got it. Gail Sayers. I was like, 1960s. Think of your 1960s running backs. There he is. Gail Sayers. He's got excellent penmanship. And there you have it. That's Nick Stober again with the Chicago Bears, by the way. Yeah, and I don't think he's uh, I don't think he's with us anymore, right? But yeah, he was he was pretty good. Most rookie, most TDs in one season by a rookie, twenty two. That's a lot just in general. Couple more to go. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, it was recently, too, Chad saying. Yeah, all right. yeah Gail Sayers, a little more than that. It was September 23rd, 2020, so last fall. Passed away at 77. Yeah, apparently March 2017, diagnosed with dementia four years prior, so on and so forth. Yeah, so battled with that. All right, next one. Who am I? I'm a Heisman Trophy Award winner, a Walter Camp and Maxwell Award winner, an AP Player of the Year. I, at one, I don't know if I still do, but I once held the NCAA career rushing yardage rushing touchdown and scoring records. And I was a number five overall pick. I was a pro bowler, a pro bowl MVP, first team all pro. And I uh, led the league in rushing in the early 2000s with 1,853 yards. Part of the College Football ha uh, Hall of Fame in 2015. Who am I? I also played for a number of teams, but he goes to this one particular team. I met this guy once at the National, at the, uh, and thanks to Panini for this, at, a, at the Panini VIP party. He actually spent like a solid, know, there are a lot of people there, he spent like a solid five, ten minutes talking with me and Nick Jaspi for just about random things. He was really nice. Not Reggie Bush. 
Maybe let's let's get you some more obvious answers here. I won the 1998 Heisman Trophy Award winner, number five overall pick in the 1999 draft. Um, by this team, by the Saints. But this jersey is the team I played for after the Saints. Not Willis McGahee. I went to Texas. Sorry, I went to Texas. I should have told you the college. There you go. Roach has got it. Ricky Williams. Olms has got it. Jens has got it. Yeah, it's Ricky Williams in his dolphin gear. And there's his autograph on the four right over there. And that's the TriStar authentication right here as well. Yeah, really, really nice guy. Seemed like a really sharp dude. I uh, think it's Miami, Jarrell Taylor with the Ricky Williams Dolphins jersey. All right, and no more. The fifth and final one. Good luck. Mm. <laughs> That's right, Chad. The old, uh, the old hippie lettuce is what he liked. All right, the last one is going to be... A seven-time Pro Bowl selectee, a five-time first-team All-Pro, 1970s All-Decade Team, 1975 NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year, a Hall of Famer in 2018, nicknamed Mr. Doom. Sixty-eight years old right now, number one, first round, sixth overall pick in 1975, played with one team my entire career. And this, uh, this team, no longer the team that I play for no longer is, exists anymore. In fact, when this team moved, my uncle lived in Texas. My uncle Charles lived in Texas for a while. And he was a big, Tex, uh, big Oilers fan. And then changed his allegiance to the Dallas Cowboys once the uh, Oilers broke his heart. Jens has got it. It's Robert Brazil. Or Brazil. There he is. So there you go. There he is right here. There's the Hall of Fame inscription. There's the TriStar sticker and card. And there you go. Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom. Played with the Oilers from 75 to 84. Goes to Brian Frank, by the way. And had 1,000... 281 tackles, 48 sacks in less than in less than 10 years, and 13 interceptions. Wow. Doom. There you go. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. That was a lot of fun. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.